number 3. Again, I have my, my derivative terms lined up, equal signs are lined up, x terms are lined up. You want to be careful here that this first equation has a y term and the second equation does not have a y term, but it has a t term. That t term is going to be part of g. In matrix form, this is going to give me x prime is equal to 4x negative 7y. In the second row I have 5x and 0y. Let's multiply by my variables. And then my g is going to be 0 from the first equation because I don't have any terms that do not contain x or y. And then I have 3t from my second equation. There's my system.